Guys, it is Seek Out here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own custom theme for Xbox 360 and Xbox One. I don't know if this applies to PS3 and PS4, but yeah, you can try it if you want. But what you want to do, well, first you, you want to have a flash drive. That's what you want to have before you start doing anything. Make sure you have that handy, and then what you want to do is download this program called Horizon. If you don't have it, I'll have it in the description below. So yeah, but you want to click on Horizon once you have it downloaded. Might take a while. Come on. Oh yeah, and another thing, make sure you have your browser open because we're going to be using that too. To create your, uh, your new theme. There we go. No... Alright, so once you're in Horizon, all your stuff will, will show up. Just make sure you have your flash drive plugged in, and then all your stuff will come up. I already have mine plugged in, so yeah. But what you want to do from here is go up to the top and go to Profile Mods. I mean, Tools, yeah. Let's go to Tools, and then it's pretty obvious from, the, from here. You want to click on Theme Creator, and then from here you can create four themes. But, yeah, you can load an image and save it or whatever. But, yeah. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to create one. Now, it's pretty some. It's not that complex from here. It's really simple, actually. So, yeah. But you, you want to leave this page open. So, just minimize it or whatever. And then you want to open up your browser. Should have had all this stuff open from before. Alright, so once you're in your browser, you want to go to the address bar and type in Pixlr. So it will show up. Alright, yeah, there. So just type in Pixlr. And then it should be the first one, photo editor online. Then you just want to click on that and... Yeah, and then once you're here, it's free. You don't even have to download anything. You don't, I don't think you have to sign up. Pretty sure you don't. But yeah, what you want to do is come down here and then look on the left for launch web app. Once you see that, go ahead and click it. Now, once you're in here, you want to stay on this page. Now, I wouldn't suggest create a new image unless you're really experienced with Pixlr or photo editing. Because it might be a bit more uh, difficult to actually complete. So yeah, but what you want to do is go find a background to start off with. So you just want to type in backgrounds. There you go, and then a whole bunch will come up. Let's go to images, and yeah. So there's a lot that you can choose from. Uh, I'm just gonna go with let's see. Uh, this Batman one looks pretty good, so. Yeah, so you click on your image, and then you want to right-click, and then go down to where it says Save Image As. You want to click that. You can rename it, do whatever. I just leave it how it is. And then once you've done that, you want to go back to Pixlr, and then click Open Image from Computer. Now, once you've done that, you want to look over on to your... Um, uh, your place where you stored your image. So yeah, once you found that, you just want to click on it, open it up in Pixlr, and then once you're done with that, you can start adding layers. You can write stuff, text, whatever. Add your YouTube name, your gamer tag, all kinds of stuff. But if you want to add more layers, just go back to your other tab and hit 
Uh, let's say icons. Now there's gonna be like millions of icons that you can choose from. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll do this little controller. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, if it has like a little checkerboard around the image, that means it's transparent. So nothing will basically like. Uh, no layers will, like, interact with it or block anything, basically. So, you just want to do the same thing. Right-click and save image as. Then once you're done with that, head over to Pixlr. Then you want to come over to the top left-hand corner and hit File. Click that. And then go down to where it says Open Image File. Click that. Then, like always, you want to just go to the image that you were. Now, I didn't mention this at the beginning, but... If your image isn't showing up, one of two things, it's probably not a PNG or a JPG image, and if it's not showing up because of that, then you just want to come down here and hit all files if you haven't already, and then everything will appear. But yeah, so once you've found your image, just click on it, and then from here, you really don't, okay, yeah, from here, you just want to hit Control A, and then Control C. And then you can just click out of this thing. Uh, no. All right. So once you're once you're back on your old image, your um, background, you want to hit Control V. Now you guys can see it will appear. And then if you guys want to make it smaller or bigger, you can go ahead and go to Edit, Free Transform, and then you can change it. So yeah. And then you can hold shift if you want to keep its original size and stuff. But yeah. You can just move it around, do whatever. Oh yeah, if you want to move it, just click uh, click and hold on the middle and then you can just move it around. So yeah. Then once you're done with that, just click anywhere and then apply changes. And then come down to here if you want to add text. It's really simple to this letter A thing. Then just click anywhere where you want to add the text. You can change the font, you can change the size, the style, the color. So yeah, I'm just gonna put, oh, well, obviously you guys can't see that, but let me change the color real quick. To like, uh, let's see, blue. Yeah, right now it's pretty small, so I'm just gonna make it bigger. So yeah, there you go. Now, depending on the, the uh, size of your image it's gonna affect the size of your text so yeah but after you're done with that after you think your image is complete and stuff you can just go over to file and then hit save then yeah you can increase the quality if you have a fast computer and all but yeah then you just have to wait for it to stop working or whatever. Come on. All right. So, yeah, you just click OK, then name it whatever you want, save it. Now, yeah, if you don't name, if you don't rename your images, and yeah, you're probably gonna get this. But just hit yes, and it'll replace whatever. Once you're done with that, you can pretty much exit out of your browser, or leave it open. It doesn't matter. Then head back to Horizon. Go over to the first box. Hit load image, and then you want to find your your thing that you just created. Here's mine, and then once you have it, you can just save image. I'm not sure if you have to do this, but just to be sure, here let me just do that, just to be on the safe side. And then once you're done with that, you want to save as. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, you have to have four things to do that. But anyways. Once you're done with that, you just want to hit save to device, the main, the most important thing. Wait, hold on. Okay, um, apparently it won't let you actually, um, upload it, so you can just load everything. Then you want to save it to your USB device. There you go. So, 
Once you've done that, you can just put your USB into your console, load up Steam, and then you'll pretty much be done. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe.